it that time again, which is, of course, some PSO2 drama. Or is it? Either way, we got uh, some update coming uh, from a new augment coming into the game uh, here uh, later on uh, in the beginning of next month. As well as some big changes uh, coming to every uh, class except for Bravel and Slayer. But other than that, big changes coming to pretty much everything else uh, for the launch of version 2 coming in June. But before we hop into all that shenanigans, welcome back to your number one top for PSO2 New Genesis gameplay how-tos. And of course, all that jazz. And before we jump fully into this, I do want to give a giant thank you to everybody that is supporting here on YouTube through memberships, subscribing over on twitch.tv slash Troy Macon, which I am live right now because Subathon, yay, send help. As well as uh, subscribing over on uh, patreon.com slash Macon. Thank you, thank you, my dudes. And of course, a giant thank you to 1K for supporting at the Lunar Teal. And with that, let's get into this and let the Gus. Is it becoming more pay to win or not? That being we moved and becoming free. Either way, let's jump into this. So let's go ahead and gut the brand new augment that will be coming in a AC scratch on a June 14th. So a little bit after the release of Virgin 2. And of course the augment at dated hill. AC support item selection. The June 14th a Wednesday update. So after maintenance hill, you will find a included XI. XI. I'm gonna go XI. I'm probably butchering it, but we're going with it. We're sticking to the gimmick here. Augment, which are a higher tier than Ada. Adai. Once again, pronunciation all strong suit. Augment in addition to other items uh, that will be a uh, support your eventual. So a court that will be a uh, costing a uh, two dollars a pop or two hundred AC for the grab ticket. And of course, to start off here. We do have a small little side note here of saying uh, the Eti Augment and the Adi Augment all in the same Augment type. So, which in return translate to you only have one or the other on. But with it being stated that the new Augment all is going to be a higher teal, we have no idea how much higher, but nonetheless higher and higher. And so uh, this will... Yeah, for probably many of you will become the new augment of choice. There is no information as of yet. If there's going to be an easy way to actually get our hands on that, I imagine there probably will be. Uh, but nonetheless, this is something to keep in mind uh, that if you're interested in getting your hands on that augment without dealing with the player market and whatever the player market might end up being when that comes out or farming it in whatever way we're going to be able to farm it, uh, you can just go ahead and pay a 200 AC and get it. Uh, so I get with that. Take that as you will as for like pay to win or not. Uh, but nonetheless, he'll uh, affect uh, to be uh, this being one of the big old thing coming out of the AC grad support uh, ticket that the majority of people I feel like are going to be going for. Uh, so just a heads up on that. If you are free to play, you better start saving uh, your Masetta now. Uh, since more than likely, this is probably going to be offensive and a mutt knee augment for a lot of you who are trying to get the higher uh, teal uh, weapons and armor. Uh, so be ready to be prepared to either spend 200 AC for some power or probably spend a couple million dollars in the player shop. Uh, be prepared for that. But not only is this is a thing that's going to be a changing when it comes to Benny of money inside a PSO2 new Genesis. We also have a big update coming to balance changes, but that is a separate thing. We will get to that in a moment. The biggest thing of interest here beyond that is a court tied to guild points. So we got ourselves a huge chain coming in here because as we have talked about in previous update video, a lot of stuff in new Genesis is very slowly being pushed behind a paywall such as the extra billions and being able to skip a story if you have a character made and have already completed a story and you want to make a new one 
That dub is going behind a paywall, but we do have dub coming out of the paywall with the kill points itself, which for anyone who were not aware of how to operate it before, is you had to pay AC uh, to be able to reset uh, your kill tree or FG, so you could do it that way as well. Or you would have an item that they handed out, not so regular, it was like pretty much an item that was given out whenever there was any type of issue, uh, like at far of apology or concern. Sometimes it might have been thrown into like some keywords you might have got from Dave or might have also got during the headline stream plus and whatnot. But the items are officially going away and so is the actual side of the money as well. Since I dated here, following uh, the June 7 update, uh, which will be version 2, by the way, update, you will be able to freely reassign the guild point for each classes without needing the use of AC, etchy, and item. Accord, uh, accordingly, moving forward, uh, pre be advised that in reset, all guilds uh, will not be distributed or when a balance adjustments are made you can continue to reset uh, the move guild tree and reset all guild tree items. So this is actually really good news. I am hoping though with this, like my biggest issue I have always had when it came to PSO2, it was like, I feel like a big old deal because there was just so much more to the guild tree appeal to NGS. And there was no statement here that it's gonna also uh, be added to PSO2 as well. Personally, since it wasn't mentioned here, I highly doubt it. It might just be an NGX thing. But nonetheless, the NGX kill tree I always found to be very simple. And in the case of like maybe two, maybe three disembolgen you can do, which might be more than enough for a lot of you. And of course now uh, you're going to be able to kind of mess around and tweak around to figure out what you actually want for a uh, your character. So this is fantastic. I would not affecting it. To be removed from a paywall slash item wall uh but i get good job on that sega who know maybe maybe it finally got to them that maybe putting everything behind a paywall is not the best idea any of the put behind a paywall from day one in global i can't beat for jp but nonetheless uh that will be available here soon so for all you who like uh tweaking around changing ability trying to figure out the bet a course of action for your character and what little in game we have. Uh, this is fantastic new for you. And from there, let's go ahead and talk about what else is coming in this update beyond, of course, the stuff we know from Borgian 2 and the stuff we also will find out about uh, coming at the end of the month during the headline stream, which, by the way, I will be live with at, of course, I believe 6 45 a.m. because I believe time zone wise, it now starts at 7 a.m. So I will be live with that here on YouTube. So be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But beyond the housing slat mod tools, we do got balance changes coming in. So when it comes to a balance changes, there's a lot happening here uh, with, of course, uh, Hunter, Fighter, Ranger, and uh, as far of like all the classes that could storm, there is uh, two main ones that you semi might know. One you would know it and one we will get to. Which is, of course, uh, when it comes to Slayer. Slayer is not getting any adjustment at all. And when it comes uh, to Bravel, if you use the Katana, well, you're not really getting any other bonuses there. But everything else is pretty much being changed here, as well as actually changing certain weapon type. As you can see here, such as the Wild Lance, as well as the Partisan, the Knuckles. And then we also get into like launcher and rifle stuff, twin machine guns. So not only is the class is being adjusted, but some weapon categories are as well. So the biggest thing coming out of all this, since there was a lot here, I'm going to link to that below so you can go ahead and go check this out for your Pacific class. But the main uh, note to take from all this is of course all the classes and weapon is getting buffed which I had a feeling was going to happen, especially with how powerful Slayer is, I affected as much since, you know, I had a feeling most of the classes would be way to that level other than Blavels, and Blavels is pretty much on par to begin with. But nonetheless, here, uh, there will be mainly a uh, few things coming in. The main thing, of course, being a lot of the ability that were originally 
only got half the bonuses uh, for subclasses, if any at all. It's now going to be getting the exact same amount of bonuses, any if you are using it on a subclass, like as example here with Hunter Physique. Uh, damn it, a token weight will increase uh, when used uh, by subclass. Uh, so, that is good news for a lot of you who are like using certain subclass abilities or main class ability, I guess. No, it would be subclass. Or then your main class, such as if you, if, like, example being like if you're playing Wangel, now you will get the same benefit from Hunter Physique as you would if Hunter were your main. Not only that, is when it comes to a lot of the other stuff here, we do have increase to potency, as well as a lot of adjustment to animation canceling time, and a lot of it kind of boiled down to just that. A lot of animation canceling and a lot of increase po uh, potency uh, to each of uh, the ability. Also, of course, we got some PP stuff as well. But like I said, the majority of this is a uh, timing. And of course, being able to cancel potency and using ability from your classes on your main, any if it a subclass ability. Uh, so that is fantastic news here. Once again, will be linked below. Check it out if you want to get into more of the nitty gritty of whatever class you play. And of course, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe with the adjustment, right along uh, with uh, the whole uh, guild tree stuff and in nine county what may be coming uh, from the update with version 2 because we still don't know much beyond the mod tools and the housing i am actually kind of curious if they're gonna add more stuff to the guild tree uh, to actually make it worthwhile of messing with especially with the uh, bonuses coming to pretty much every single class once again except for slayer and blable who you katanas uh, but nonetheless that is everything that's gonna be coming in the coming weeks uh, especially after and on version 2 that gonna be changing pso for you all hopefully you have got some helpful information hopefully your class are getting some much needed love uh, that you've been wanting and of course uh i get with that let me know how you feel about the whole situation uh that is coming once again uh with the augmenting and are you prepared for when they come because this is not anything new to pso uh, but this is still something to keep in mind as we are going into uh, the net version and what it could mean. Uh, let me know below if you for it, against it, or are you just going to bite up using my setup? Hopefully it won't be that offensive. It probably will be. But nonetheless, let me know below. And of course, before we head on out of here, if you have enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any shape or form, be sure to do the thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the wonderful bells so you don't miss out on any more of PSO content here every day to every other day if chat it holding me hostage like they are right now. Look at them. Look at them above me. I'm trapped. Sim send help. Send help. I need I need I need help. We're doing it live. I need help. And of course, uh, like always, uh beyond that, if you do want to check out the live stream, we are in the middle of a subathon. That's why I'm being whole hostage. Uh so come on over twitch.tv slash Troy Mac on and say hi. So with that, that will go ahead and uh, do it for me. And of course, like always, I will see you in the comments.